Hi guys, it's Scotty Wild Outdoors. Thanks very much for clicking on the video. Today we're going to be reviewing and having a first look at the budget camping stove. It was very kindly given to me by Shason and I will put a link to their Amazon site on the description of the video as well guys. Okay, so, so the unboxing of it guys. Duds come in a lovely black mesh holder. And it comes in two parts. Good two tubs. And inside, wrapped up in the bubble wrap, is the burner as well. Now, this retails, guys, at around £28. Now, for a camping stove and the tin as well, absolutely fantastic value for money. And it's perfect for anyone just starting out while camping, as you don't want to be spending lots of money on the gear, and to make sure you actually do enjoy the hobby before you get into it. But, having a first little look of this, it's got a... What like nighter as well, which is really good for a budget camping stove. I've not seen that yet. The so so you just push that all the way around, and that's going to be for your stove bed as well. Now, in terms of the pots themselves, guys, just bring over the gas as well. The little pot is 0 0.6 litres and the big pot is 1.2 litres so plenty of plenty of water you can boil up some noodles in this no problem at all a uh, little one you can maybe brew up some water for a coffee as well now in terms of the material guys it is aluminium so that's pretty lightweight and each little pot has got the plastic handles as well. Stop you burning your hands and when it heats up. What I am liking about this already guys, is you can store the burner inside of the pot, meaning less space taken up within your bag as well, and the little mesh um, carry pouch as well which is obviously great for when that gets burnt it's going to leave some residue in your bag which you don't want ok hey guys so let's um, get into it and see how this um, clicker performs shall we I will do a little test as well just to see how long it takes to boil um, a litre of water with this as well good burner guys that was first time ignition as well the usual stove that i use guys is a jet boil zip now that doesn't actually come with a little ignition like this one as well now, as you've seen that does start straight away so if i forget my lighter when i'm out um or i don't have my ferro rod with me then obviously i'm not going to get my coffee or, or my dinner that night so what we will do guys is, as I said, I'll fill this up um, and 1.2 litres of water. We'll do it slightly under it. Um, it does have, it says it's 1.2 litres inside, so we can see, it does have a little measurements. So we've also got it on the outside for you as well, um, back to front. So it says 800 miles, so... Um, We'll have, we'll have a lot of work, we'll fill it up to the 800 mile mark and we'll see what, um, how long it takes to boil for you as well. Start the timer. And 
想吐气喝啊，可以吃多了。As you can see, it took four minutes and fifty-three seconds to boil the water. It's not the fastest on the market, but again, it is only twenty-eight pounds, guys. Uh, at the moment, they do have a sale on their website. I'm not sure how long that will last. But I think it's about £18 and that's for the pot, the stove as well. Uh, so if you jump on the website of Amazon and said I will put the link to the guy's shop on it uh, and grab that. There's a couple of things that I don't like about this guys is the pot lid. It just it comes off too easy. It's not very secure. When it is on the gas burner as well, it's not really stable. It's a bit, bit wonky. But for the price, guys, an absolute bargain, and I definitely recommend getting it. It's lightweight. It's not the lightest on the market, but it is, is lightweight as well. And if you have got this already, guys, let me know. Let me know your thoughts of it. As I've not tested it out on the field yet. I will take it out with me on my next wild camp. And um, yeah guys, any comments, if you did enjoy the video, if you are going to go and have a look, give the video a little thumbs up guys. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching, uh, if you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button, it'll be up there for you, and uh, I hope to see you on the next one, have a good day, cheers.